Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. Um, so welcome to another account review. Um, today I'm with the the May wait Demi Eyes Demi Eyes. I, I can't. I, I was I was retarded for a second. I, I wasn't able to read that. But uh, we're we're here today to um, to to do an account review. And he's currently level 40, 46. He's been playing for for a little while. Has quite a few six stars. And is looking towards progressing into um, Golden's P10. He actually told me a bit. Um, he's he's quite lucky with some of the event monsters. You know, Light Jack. You know, the the Master Race right here. Uh, this one's this Light Toe's got two squares as well. Pretty good. Um, Stark Seedler is also Master Race triple square. You know, so same as his uh, Wood Incubus. So you know, he's got a he's got a lot of like really good event monsters with like multiple squares. Um, Every, everything's like triple square here. Really, really nice. Mona's got a lot of squares. Uh, so, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, so, we're going to take a look at um, his teams and what he can use to, to progress into Golden Speed 10. Now, his his sealer is actually gem relatively well. Um, it's got 100% crit on an intuition set. And I think these are all attacks. Uh, wait. Oh, he actually reached 100% crit. This one's got 19.5% uh, at attack as well. And this one's got 19 crit. This one's got, uh, this one's probably three roll or two roll as well. So this one's got like 14.5. So he, basically he pushed 100% crit without even maxing his crit rate gem. Um, which is, yeah, which makes him, this guy's probably really strong. All he really needs to do is just six star him. And then this will be, his his Golden Speed 10 team will be perfect. So we're gonna we're gonna go and we're gonna test a few teams for Golden Speed 10. He's got a lot a lot of light monsters um, that are pretty good. His light Odin's also on an intuition set. It's got a lot of random uh, three star gems that he probably doesn't need. But we'll just uh, we'll just get rid of his three star four stars. He's already past that point. Ooh, that, was, that was close. If he didn't lock his siphon gems, I guess yeah. Um, all right, so this is a this is a tip that a lot of people don't know. Um, if you're just starting out farming dragons, keep all your siphon gems, even if it's like flat recovery. Like you know how horrible flat recovery is, but like even if it's a four star flat recovery siphon gem, just keep it. Keep all the siphon gems, and the reason you want to do this is because you want to be able to complete the siphon set to get the set bonus, and all you really need is just one attack gem of uh, like a six star attack siphon gem and you just pair that up with two other random gems like you don't need the, the other two random gems can have the shittiest stats in the world and all you need to do is have that six star attack gem maxed out and just basically complete the set and you can farm up to like the the first continent um one probably not the whole entire continent but you can farm just with like just with one attack gem you can farm farm like the first two maps um like lunar valley or phantom forest and you can do this like extremely fast with like uh, if you do if you say for example farm this with like a fi fire monster basically you're gonna always get the bonus. Uh, this is something I did before before I got my siphon gems. I basically was was doing this. And if you have like just like one fire gen, um, you can do this extremely well. And just basically because like fire gen has the has the uh, has the siphon built in. And he also gets like a predator on his on his uh, six star, so you basically just give him a lot of attack. So when he, uh, or, I mean five star, so when he does his like AOE nuke, um, the siphon will basically give him a full bar, and then he'll just keep nuking and completing the stage really really fast. So that's one of the ways you can actually use a siphon set, um, even if this even if the set is not um, not complete. So he actually has a bonus for for this for the farming up. Now, I happen to be doing the review right now, which, all right, I'll, I'll make this fast so you can go back to farming. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go in and we're gonna go, go into Golden Speed 10 and we're gonna test out some teams and see if, um, see what he can do. I think he's only farming B8 currently and uh, B8 and B7, which are pretty easy to farm. If you're like a mid, mid game player, um, you should be able to farm these pretty easy. But for B10, you need to at least have some decent gems to be able to do this. Now he's using a he's using a dark jack, which I don't really think he needs. Um, now I'm gonna problem with the seedler is the seedler's not five stars yet, but we'll we'll, we'll try it out. We'll try it out. I'll, I'll go with uh go with an attack lead. 
go with the Dark Seedler. And then um, a Water Miho. But this Water Miho is only 5 stars as well. Attack, HP, attack. Should probably just go... Should really just go triple HP. Let's see if we can replace this gem with another one. I'll give it to plus 12. I'll, I'll replace it. Actually, we'll do a test run first. If it doesn't work too well, we'll replace that gem. Um, now, the Light Toad actually does work as well. He has crit rate, defense, HP. Um, actually, not too bad. You know, you could also use a defensive lead. Wait, what if he goes like... What if he just goes like this? Like, this full light team should work. It's not, it's not too stable. The Jack can die in one shot. I'd probably just use Dark Nuker instead. Honestly, you don't even need... Hmm, if he had more... Uh, there's not enough sap. I don't know, know how tanky the Dark Toad is. I feel like Odin's kind of a waste. If you want to go uh, go full damage, you might as well you might, might as well go hard, because you you have to kill the first wave pretty fast, and that's kind of the only way you can make it stable. This is a, this is a no heal comp, but we do have two saps and one nuker, so um, we should be able to nuke down the first wave pretty hard, and also an, an aggressor. Ah, uh, maybe we should have we should have tried to get the synergy bonus. Actually, it's not that important. Yeah, I'd probably just go triple attack on the Miho. She's not gonna get targeted ever, anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, Odin's kind of a waste of a slot, because you don't really need her heal. You just kind of need more saps to take down the golem fast enough. So, basically, I'm just trying to use two sappers. I'm using Light Nike for her attack lead, just so everybody gets more attack. She's the only one that that, that doesn't benefit from it, but everybody else is a... Is a, like... I got two balance type and one attacker, so basically, the other, the other three benefit a lot from the attack lead. That's why I'm using the Light Nike. This should be relatively fast, and keep in mind, both my nukers are only 5 stars. But if I were to, or if you were to raise them, and plus they, they only have like plus 12 gems. So, you can very, very easily do this. Wait, I forgot to turn off the animations. Oh, it's because I was logging on to a new account. Sorry, we'll turn it off later. Oh man, that attack down is pretty annoying. Oof, not enough saps. And they killed my Seedler. Alright, alright, this, this is not too stable. I mean, the Seedler is only 5 stars, so it's not much, not much I can do. Dang, what is this? Alright, the Miho's dead. This is so unlucky, what the heck? None of my saps are landing, just look at this. Maybe the Miho's not... Maybe the Miho's not max skilled. Alright, Light Toad is not good. Light Toad is, is very bad. I just, I, I realize that. Light Toad is actually not good for this. He, it doesn't actually provide anything, I just realized. Uh, because he only his sap chance on his second skill is actually pretty low, and he only um, he only saps on his second skill, so that's actually not too reliable. Definitely do want some monsters that sap on their first skill, but it's it's fine. That was a that was an all right test run. We were pretty close. We only had we had like two five stars as well. We'll we'll try again. We'll try with something else. If he had a third sapper, then this would be uh this would be a lot easier. Honestly, if he had if he had a second water miho, 
This would have this would have been ten times easier. I was thinking if I could borrow someone's water miho, but it doesn't seem like it. He's got any friends that have water mihos. Um, wouldn't really use light jack. I could use Odin. This is still kind of bad though. Jack's not good, Odin's not good. Um, it has to be the Steeler, the Steeler to provide the wave clear. Um, get the evil 2 bonus, you get the sisterhood bonus for, for defense as well, so that's actually pretty good. Double defense bonus for the, for the light Nike is actually quite nice. Um, No, he has Asian Elite on his friend list. We'll, we'll try this team. We'll try this comp. I want to see like what, what gets him closer to actually beating B10. Now, Odin doesn't get any benefits from the attack bonus. But that's actually fine. Oh, wait. I, j I just thought of another comp he could run. That would actually still be pretty strong and it, it has to do with the synergy as well because I was thinking of that all right that Oda needs better gems that's all I can say no that Oda needs evil too that's that's what she needs Oda needs evil too Basically, gleam up the Odin and give her, like, the tankiest gems you possibly have. And I actually thought of a pretty good team that I could run. Oh my god, alright. She she has the potential to solo tank it at EVO 2, but she needs, uh... She needs much better gems. She she can't do it at EVO 1. We'll, we'll, we'll try it out right now with the Nike. But I actually thought of a... A comp I could run. This is probably gonna fail. Yeah, this, this is unfortunate. All right, he does have a little bit of gold, so I can I can mess around with his gems. Let's let's do some uh, let's do some gem gem swapping. All right, actually, he doesn't have that much gold. Okay, let me uh, let me see. Are these six star gems? Oh shit, his Mona gems aren't too good. Oh wait, it's not gonna work. I was thinking I was doing something. I'm I'm trying to make this work with five star monsters, but like, you know, if, it, it it would e very very easily be done if you could six star some of these monsters, and plus fifteen their gems. It's just I think it's just that it's it's not acceptable right now. Like to to use um to use five star gems is just is just not acceptable. The Odin needs Evil 2, and also needs uh, needs her gems maxed out. They are all plus 15 gems, so that this, this is actually pretty good. I don't know if you have like a life set or, or a protection set. That would also work as well. Alright, I think these gems are good enough, but they need to be taken to plus 15, plus she needs to be EVO 2, because her base stats at EVO 1 is just, it just isn't good enough, like, she's only got, uh, 20, 29k base, but if you EVO 2 her, like right now, at EVO, EVO 1 plus 2, but if you, if you simply just EVO 2 her, she would have, uh, she would have, like, 4k more base. And then you can gem that up and basically give her a lot more HP. 
So like in total, with the three gems added together, that extra 4k would, would become like uh, an extra... Um, wait, my math is bad. Yeah, it would be like 10k. Basically, like she would get 10k more health than she has right now. If you if you were just to simply take her from evil two to evil two plus or or I mean evil one plus two to like evil evil two, um, she would have she would have like 10k more health even with the same uh, if, if you like if you were to six star this gem and then like have her health compared to like an evil two version because each gem is like. 68 percent well it's actually more than 10k but i'm just kind of rounding but actually even with these these gems right now like she would literally she would have 10k more health just just by being evil too so definitely the next gleam that you get the next holy gleam that you get just like throw it into her um if you haven't completed the or if you haven't completed uh this thing tower of chaos try to get to 50 Actually, you should definitely be able to beat it. Just like clear it right now, get to fifty, clear, um, get the holy gleam, and then just like yeah, just get the holy gleam, feed it into the Odin, make her evil too, and then you can use her to to solo tank B10. I was actually thinking of using one one of your water monas, which one, whichever one's the best one, the one you have with the best gems and the best leader skill. Okay, maybe not this one. Actually, they're all kind of shitty. What is going on? Oh man, why are you, why are you using crit gems on Mona? Alright, this one's at least a 6-star gem. This one's a 4-star. This one's a 5-star. This that's, that's, that, that's a no-no. Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna fix this. Dang it, why couldn't you... You should have raised a triple square Mona. They're all bad. This one's missing a uh, missing a diamond slot. This one's uh, missing a. Well, I guess maybe you have a tr triangle. All right, all right, all right, this one's easier. Okay, here's what you need to do: you need to focus your gems on like one one monster. We're gonna we're gonna steal these gems. All right, we're, we're gonna use whichever one has the highest like HP or defense subset. We're gonna just we're gonna put it on one Mona. All right, so we're gonna do. Or maybe, maybe, maybe you actually have some other attack gems. Or I, I'll, wait, this one's actually pretty good. This one's got 14% each. Alright, uh... Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll remove this one. We'll put that one in. This one, oh, that one's a good, uh, good, good gem to use. This one's actually pretty good too. Oh wait, this is an HP. Never mind. Uh, crit damage, no. Crit rate, no. Defense, something with attack. Intuition. Crit rate recovery. HP. Flat attack. Wait, why is there a flat attack? Resist attack. Yeah, this is not good. Um. Okay, it looks like we're gonna have to. This one's got 22% resist. That's that's actually better for like a PvP mon. Can you give me a plus 12 gem that has crit? All right, you know what? You know what? this 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 mon is not important enough. We're gonna steal her gem. All right, we're gonna we're gonna unquit this one. Oh shit! Wait, fuck! Oh my god! I just I just wasted twelve gold. I just wasted some gold off, off you. I quit the wrong Mona. All right, god damn it! <laughs> I fucked up. I'm, I'm sorry. I just I, I wasted a bit of gold, but uh, you can you can farm that back. It's because they switch slots. The, these two switch places. Can't blame me for that. All right, maybe you can blame me for it. Uh, Alright, whatever, we're taking this one, alright? We're taking this one. This gym's kind of shit. It's not, it's not really worth it to keep. Would you mind if I overlap it? 
It's kind of shitty. Fuck it, we're gonna we're gonna overlap it. I mean, he's got enough six star gems, and he's farming B eight, so like, there's no excuse to be using something like this. And it's fine because he can he can actually not use one of his monas, and just like throw in a seedler for B eight or something like that. That that also works. All right, so this is this is the good mona. This one's got a. Uh, at least plus 12 on everything. We're, we're gonna make this work. We're gonna make using 5 star monsters in B10 work somehow. Alright. We're gonna make it work. I mean, eventually you should probably 6 star those monsters, but, but for now, I'm gonna make it work. We're gonna do this. It's just the the stats aren't enough at, at five stars, and also your gems aren't maxed out. Like they they should be for B10, they should be six star monsters, and their gems should be plus fifteen. Like they should not be plus twelve. And it's not the like you don't have to raise anything new. You just need to get those gems maxed out, and you'll have you can probably like you can probably throw in this team. You can throw in the Seether team. You can throw in like the Mona team. It would all work as long as you have your gems like. Um, as long as you have your gems upgraded and stuff, so I think I think that's the problem. But we're gonna we're gonna try our best to make it work for now. All right. This is the good Mona, right? All right, same with the Miho. We need to we need to replace one of her gems with an attack gem. This HP gem. You don't have a single attack intuition. Yeah, even this is better. I mean, the crit's nice, but like, she honestly just needs more attack. This will work. This one, th this gem is good enough. Oh man, we're running out of gold. Oh, I should have some more. Some everyone get their gold ready for when I do reviews, so I can like at least upgrade a few gems. I also accidentally wasted 45k from you, so um, I'm sorry about that. But it it it's a. Uh, it's, it was a risk. It was a risk for letting me go into your account, alright? That's something you have to live with. Cause I'm, cause I'm retarded sometimes and there's no, there's no helping it. There's, there's no helping it. I was just born that way. Man, this is... Alright, we're not gonna be able to max this out. Or get this to plus 12 at this rate. You wouldn't mind if I blast through all your gold, right? Probably not. Alright, I'm blasting through all your gold. Oh my god, that recovery roll. Oh, it's disgusting. We need enough uh, attack to push through the first wave. That's, that's what we need. Or else the Odin's just gonna die. Come on, please. Give me the upgrade. Let's get to plus twelve. We can we can do this. And then have the last roll roll into like defense or something. That would be the best for now. Resist could be good too, but for now I think defense is probably a little bit better. Alright, we got a few rolls left. Come on. Ugh, I ain't feeling it. Stupid Tina. 
Alright, you're almost out of gold. If, if this doesn't work, then... Oh, nice, it went defense. Alright, we're good. Let's do this, let's do this. Okay, so the team I actually think is the best, is the most optimal um, in the future, is literally this one. You just go... Uh, you go you go with Mona, Miho, Odin lead, or Odin for the solo tank, and then Seedler to like... Basically, Seedler just does a shit ton of damage. You could go with like two Monas as well for the uh, triple water bonus. That, that actually is pretty good too. That actually might... Maybe it's better. I'm not too sure. Actually, no. Seedler does too much damage. Like, it's nice that you can get a... Uh, you can get the... 5% HP. Actually, 5% HP for Odin would be really good, too. This this team could work really well, but I think the Seedler team could actually just, just straight out work. Because your, your Seedler has really good gems, so I actually might, might go with this team instead. Basically, just have Odin's solo tank. She, she just needs one more Gleam, and then she'll be a lot stronger. And you also need to max her gem out. It's so probably just farm a little bit. I did, I did just use up all your gold, so... I mean, I was using your gold for, like, actually important monsters, so that, I guess that's pretty fair. They just need enough attack to push through the first wave. That's, that's basically it. The problem is Miho's not, a, not an attacker. So you can't get the, the concentrated attack uh, thingy. Ooh, wait, I forgot. The Mona is really good because she's got the, uh, she's got the morale boost. So she can basically, like, get a full bar on second turn. Actually, using two Monas might be more stable than using the Seedler, now that I think about it. Alright, your Odin's fucked. Your Odin needs better gems than that. I think she's the weakling. That's, that's... That's all I can say. Your Odin's got gotten uh gotten fucked pretty hard. It's it's GG. All right, we'll try to we'll try to make this work. All right. I think, I think we can make it work. Maybe maybe I just need a little bit more gold and like finish up the Odin gens. No, there's no way I have enough gold. Let's try with two Monas after this run. See if we can wave clear a little bit better. Because I, I feel like the Steeler does a lot of damage. But the problem is, uh, you want to get that full bar on your Nukers to basically like clear the wave. If you can do that, then um, things will be a lot more stable. Yeah, we need we needed the Odin alive. We're using like three five-star monsters. I feel like it's gonna work. Well, I mean, it's not that I feel; it's just that I I know it's gonna work. Okay, I don't think you can. I don't think you can do this with five star plus plus twelve gems. <laughs> I'm just wasting your astro gems and time at this point. But we, we can try one more test one with the with the water Mona. See if uh. See see if we can clear the first wave, a little bit better. Cause I feel like the uh, the water Mona with the with the bonus. Would be pretty good as well, because basically what this is is I get the uh, I get the water water bonus, which gives everybody ten five percent more HP. So that's actually pretty good. Um, would have been nice if I was able to proc concentrated attack, but Miho's not an attacker, so can't use an attacker in this slot because you know that, that that would suck. Yeah, we need like a sapper attacker on this slot. That's also water. Maybe like water sea star, but it's fine. Like this team's good enough. This this thing's got like three synergies. And this team should work before even before the whole synergy system. This team should have been like the go-to.
Oh my god, what? The Odin, they didn't kill anything? Yeah, that, I think that Odin needs that, like, 10k extra HP. That's all I can say. They don't do enough attack. Like, if they were a 6-star, they would have killed two of the monsters on the first wave easy. Like, if this if this Mona was 6-star just now, and had all her gems plus 15, she would have killed the Miho in one AoE. Or, not the Miho, the Mino. She would have killed that Mino in one AoE. So that's, that's the problem here. Like, you just need... <laughs> You probably just need to raise this team to 6-star. This, this is probably, like, if you want to be safe, this is the team I would rec recommend. But you could also take out this Mona and put in the Seedler. That, that would also work as well. Yeah, and the the double uh, defense down on the on the boss wave will help you kill the two side units like super fast. This is kind of sad. I don't even know if your Miho skilled up. She should be though. She should definitely be skilled up. Wait, where is she? Alright, she is skilled up. Uh, hmm, your Nike gems are maxed out. Maybe I should have used her. Alright, let, let's try with the full light team. See how close... See how close to uh, beating it you are with it. I'm curious. I think I'm trying to do the impossible here. I don't, I don't think it's possible to like... <laughs> I don't think it's possible to beat B10. With uh... With 5 star mons. The, the problem with this team is they can focus the jack. And she can die on turn 1. And then this, this whole run would just suck from that point on. Yeah, what the... Seriously, what the fuck? There was there were four monsters. What? All right, all right, all right. I think I think it's I think the game is trying to tilt me at this point. Okay, we're gonna actually I think the Miho would actually work better. Cause since your your three light units are pretty tanky, you don't need much wave clear. It's just the boss fight actually might be more annoying. So having more sap would actually help. This actually might work. I actually see this being able to actually clear it right now. I'm not I'm not too sure, but we'll we'll see. I think we can beat this. I, I feel like we can beat this. What do you guys think? Alright, these guys do no damage. The the toad is a horrible idea. Like you should just replace it with another water miho. That that would actually make this team much better. Yeah, like even even if it's a shitty monster, the the stats of a six star mon and plus fifteen gems just kind of makes up for it. So I guess this is this is better for now. I 
I feel like we'll be able to clear it because the the Odin also has a heal, so that's it's not going to be too much of a problem. After this wave of AOE, the Odin's going to have her um, healthful, and there's no way he kills the Miho in one turn because the Golem doesn't even hit that hard. So basically, uh, everyone's going to get a max heal, and, and life will be good. Oh, the side unit died, but uh, even a 20% heal from the Odin will probably boost everybody else to max. I feel like there's not enough sap. That's the problem. That's why we can't kill the boss fast enough, so I guess... You have to rely on sustain. Because, like, the Toad's sap is very unreliable. He only has it on his second skill, and the Golem even has silence and stuff. So, it just, it, it just makes it suck, kind of. I mean, it's, it's alright, but I guess it's kind of slow. Alright, maybe... Maybe replace this Toad with another Water Miho. That's probably like the easiest way you could do it. Um, could also replace the Toad with a Seedler as well. We'll try, we'll try it with a Seedler. But then we don't get the Light Bonus. That's the, is the Light Bonus important? Oh shit, we lose two bonuses from that. Oh no, we only lose the evil power. Yeah, we only lose the light bonus. That's not that's not too bad. I feel like this actually might be better. Because the Toad's sap is so unreliable that you might as well just like have a nuker anyways. Nuker will clear the waves faster as well. Yeah, the Seedler even at 5 stars can one-shot the Mino. Probably one-shot the Sparklers as well, so... That definitely makes the runs more stable. And it, it died. Fuck me, man. Oh god, I need, we need more 6-star Mons. This is, this is retarded. It, it, it should have survived if it was 6-stars. God damn it. Well, we should try again with that. That was just super unlucky. Like the, They left the Moonflower alive with like 10% health. That was so dumb. And the Seedler should have one-shot the, the Moonflower, too, in turn one. If it was 6-star, it should have, have one-shot the Moonflower. Mm, I feel like they're going to all hit the Sparkler. Like, all four of them. This is, this is actually not that stable. See, the, the Seedler can one-shot the Moonflower in just one turn. Sometimes. Sometimes it leaves it at, like, 10% HP or, like, 5% HP. But if you 6 star, it's going to kill the Moonflower every single turn, so... I think, I think that's where the problem is. Alright, moment of truth. We have like one less sap for the boss, but we have like tons more damage, so... And we have armor down, so, so I, I guess that, that also is pretty good too.
I feel like this team actually might be more stable. Just six star the Seedler, six star the uh, the Miho. I mean, he could probably six star the Miho first and temporarily run the Toad team that we were running just now, and then eventually switch to the Seedler team, switch to this team, and then once you get your uh, once you get your Odin to like Evil Two, and have all her gems maxed out, um, take out the Nike. And put in a water Mona, and then that and then that team should have like under two minute runtime, so should be pretty good. All right, this team was cutting it pretty close, but then again, it, that that guy's only five stars, so he yeah, has two minutes thirty seconds. This this team's definitely faster, but. Um, if you have them, if you have them both six stars, it should probably like be close to like two minutes. It should be like two minutes ten seconds or so. And then once you replace the Nike, and have her Evil Two, uh, you can only replace the Nike after you have her Evil Two because she can't solo tank an Evil One. So after you replace the Nike with the uh, with the Water Mona, you should probably be able to get this to like. Actually, wait. There's there's something I want to try. The thing, the thing I was thinking about is because the the Mona only has the attack lead for water, the Sealer is not going to benefit from it. So the, you could also do double Mona as well. I don't know if that's going to be more stable. Maybe eventually um, get your Miho to 6 star first, and then get your Sealer to 6 star, and then just run this team. Uh, actually get your Miho to 6 star first, run the Toad team. Because then everybody would be 6 stars, and it would be really stable. And then eventually, once you get your Seedler to 6 star, um, run this team. And then afterwards, get your Mona to 6 star, replace... Or actually, wait. Get your uh, Odin to Evil 2. And then once that happens, you can raise the Mona to 6 stars, replace replace the Nike. And then afterwards, you raise the second Mona to 6 stars, replace the Seedler. Because the, the reason why, why you want to do that is to get the... Uh, to get the... To basically um, have the second Mona um, be be able to benefit from the attack bonus. So basically, it's like you're you're getting like a thirty something um, attack bonus, and everybody gets like a five percent HP boost from having three three of the same elements, so three water. So the Odin will actually have the HP boost, which basically makes her do more damage as an aggressor and also heal more and also tank more. So um, I think that's 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 probably the ultimate goal, maybe. Take it one step at a time. Alright, we had a lot of fails, and I, I spent a lot of money, but um, I think we're good. I think we, we have a game plan. We, ha we have a proper game plan here. wonder if there's any other people with like some monsters I can borrow to show you kind of the concept of it. Well, we don't have a Miho. Maybe we have a Water Mona. That's six stars. Rip. No, wa no six star Water Mona. All right, that's not gonna work. Okay, so uh, that's that's pretty much it. That's that's <laughs> that's all I can that's all I can help you with. Um, if you need help with farming PVP dragons, actually dragons is not even dragon dungeon isn't even out, so I can't even go into dragons. PvP should actually be pretty easy. You have a lot of 6-star monsters. You're, it looks like you're not doing too much PvP either. You should definitely do it each week to get the Gleam. Gleam Gleam's really good. I'll always do it to get the Gleam. And, um... Yeah, just, just throw in your 6-star monster. You should beat everybody with 5-stars. Just basically, like, use your stats to overpower them. That's, that's what you should do in early PvP. Um, damn, my chair is falling apart. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully this this, uh, this this helped you guys out. If you want me to do an account review, uh, there, there's, a, there's a pretty long queue now, so like, you're gonna have to hit me up on Discord, and I'll have to like, 
record your Discord ID and then like, the reason why I do this is because before the account review, I can go on Discord and I can contact you and ask you for your account information to log in and stuff. But, um, you know, just that's, that's, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.